Hey, Naraf. How are you? Hey, Peter. Uh, doing good. Uh, it's nice sunny weather. So looking forward to going to the backyard. How are you doing? <laughs> doing well, enjoying this whole shelter in place uh, opportunity. Well, the reason I, I reach out to you is that, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of talking around our what Fortnite does with the teleworking at scale, how everyone's using all the VPN connections and their FortiGates and and tokens for two-factor authentication. Um, but I know that you've been talking with a lot of customers about our SD-WAN solutions, and, and I just want to catch up with you a little bit and see how the SD-WAN is impacted or not by this whole teleworker at scale. So what have you been hearing about SD-WAN and, and teleworking? No, that's a great question, Peter. Definitely, uh, I'm hearing a lot from our customers about the need for a business continuity, application continuity, and SD-WAN is, is an important technology that could be used, right? If you if you took a look back, the evolution of SD-WAN started with any transport, any link, but application and the user experience continues to remain high. And that's exactly what uh, uh, the remote workers are looking for, to have a better user experience uh, with regardless of what connectivity they have. But how does that uh, tie in when everyone's using remote connections from their branch office, so to speak? You know, they they used to work in the office. So they, they have the SD-WAN connections from that office to their headquarters, and now they're not in that office. How how does that tie in then? Yeah, so I think the the first or simple recommendation is look, a uh, lot of our customers have FortiGate deployed in the office. In fact, almost five million of FortiGates are out there, uh, and SD-WAN is already built in. So there is an opportunity right now for them to enable SD-WAN and fine tune application. So now all the remote users, when they are sending the traffic via SSL VPN or IPsec VPN to the branch, there they, they can change the application policy such that those business critical applications are getting priority, they are getting better performance. So definitely the first recommendation is SD-WAN is built in, there is no additional cost, fine tune our application, and make sure that those applications which matters the most, video conferencing or your SaaS application for the productivity, they get better priority and improve the experience. Oh, so that makes sense. So it's not dealing so much with the teleworkers connection to the branch, but what that branch is then sending on to either the headquarters or the, the cloud, I guess. Exactly, yeah. Because what, I, what we have seen is... Uh, Definitely SD-WAN uh, growth and a lot of customers are using it, but many customers are now seeing an opportunity to enable SD-WAN, which is already there, and then in a simple way, they can enable it, right? So take an example of one of our customer I was talking to, uh, they have FortiGate built in, almost 10,000 remote users are now using SSL VPN and going to that HQ. Now their IT team has enabled SD-WAN and five critical applications, they are fine-tuned to make sure that those applications always get the priority. And that drastically improved the performance. And they also saw the number of tickets, tickets that they were getting from the IT customers are getting down. So certainly there is an easy way uh, to enable that and take the benefit of it. You know, when I think SD WAN, I the first thing I usually think of is, you know, putting traffic across different types of links to save money, but you're actually talking more about the other part of, of SD-WAN, which is more the application control, I guess. Exactly, so there are two ways to do it, right? Uh, uh, some customers who are at the early phase and they might just have one link, um, and in the second link is standby, and they don't want to make many changes at this time, which is fine, but the simplest change of doing the rate limiting, making sure that some applications using the WAN remediation, they can get the benefits out of it. Now, of course, the other set of customers who have the dual link, who wants to do as an active active, they can do a lot more. But I'm seeing uh, customers using those inbuilt features without any truck roll, any cost, enabling them and making their network for the remote worker more robust. Hmm. Yeah, we talk about you know, on the teleworking side how the FortiGates can support all these VPN tunnels for the remote workers, and, and it doesn't cost anything. That's just in the FortiGate. Now, the similar SD-WAN, it's just already there. Yeah, I think uh, now I appreciate our uh, ASIC much more than uh, than what, what we have seen because I, the ASIC technology enables our customers to go and use many of those features in this particular time, right? So as you said, 
the same Forti gate being used to enable SSL VPN or IPsec VPN. They can also enable the complete NG firewall with SD-WAN and the scalability and performance is there. So from the best practices perspective, they will not see a much degradation of performance and still we will see the business continuity for those applications will improve. You know, uh, one of the things in our teleworkers that we talk about is for the super user, you know, the, your executives or, or your uh, folks that really have uh, access to very um, sensitive information, that one, uh, one solution is to actually put a FortiGate out at their location to give them the, the ultimate insecurity. Um, but I guess, is there a, a connectivity story there as well with SD-WAN? Certainly. I mean, so SD-WAN, uh, most customers use it in a branch. And the way I see talking with the customers is now as there are a lot of remote users, those remote home offices are becoming mini branches. And as you described the super users, there are a set of customers who definitely want the application continuity in a much more robust way. This is where they can use a smaller Forti gate, a desktop four factor with LT built in in their house, right? And in fact, I'm using it right now. And I see uh, certainly for specific meetings with the customers, uh, having that separate Forti gate with LTE, with SD-WAN built in, uh, makes my applications working much better. So certainly that is a that is a benefit there. So even though you've got you know cable or DSL or some some connection, you actually now have a second LTE connection. So you actually do have those dual links that SD WAN can take advantage of. Exactly, and and honestly, uh, it, I when I started uh, doing the remote work, I I thought you know I have 100 Mbps of speed and I'll be fine. But as we started seeing the multi-user in the house using different video streaming conferencing, I started seeing the problem uh, of certain specific meetings. So this is where having uh, this LTE in a backup so that when I'm doing the video conferencing or doing a screen sharing, if the performance is not good, packet loss is high, then I'm back failing over to the LTE and making sure that my application is running fine. So, and that's exactly what a lot of our customers are looking for, for that specific uh, super users uh, to make sure that those meetings and those important criteria are getting from the sd -WAN. So what if uh, maybe LTE isn't maybe uh, what a customer, what a, you know, someone wants to deploy? Maybe they, there's a delay in getting that service provider to connect the LTE service. Would it, is there still any benefit to the uh, having that FortiGate out at the location? Certainly, yeah. So uh, uh, one of the, the, the customers that I was talking to, actually a customer in healthcare, and uh, they had a similar thing where their the LTE is getting delayed. Uh, but audio, uh, specifically the voice conferences, is a key thing for them. And uh, what they have done is uh, in using the FortiGate SD WAN, we have a WAN remediation called forward error correction. And the whole idea behind that is when we're sending the packets and when we see the link has a lot of packet loss, we can reconstruct the packets on demand. So in this case, you don't need a second link. And even on that first link, having FortiGate on both ends can improve the user experience. Oh, so yeah, effectively much better usage of a, a limited link, uh, even without that second link. Yeah, and 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 that's really uh, it. Goes back to that uh, again, the beginning of SD WAN, where the traffic pattern was very important. How are we seeing the different traffic pattern, and based on that, we are making the SLA. Especially today in the remote teleworker, the traffic pattern is very different uh, compared to what we used to see, and that's why having that single link or dual link but creating the rest event policy uh, makes uh, your business continuity much better. Well, this has been really great. I've, I've learned a lot about how our SD-WAN solution actually enhances the whole teleworker solution. Uh, do, you, do you have any final thoughts about the SD-WAN and, and teleworking? No, I would just say that, look, uh, we have 5 million plus 40 gates out there, um, and uh, we want to help our customers. We want to be the good citizen, and this is a perfect opportunity where we recommend that sd when is built in without any additional cost, take advantage of it, right? That will improve your application performance, improve your user experience. And the best thing is uh, there is no truck roll involved, right? You have that in, in built there, you have it installed. So I'm really looking forward to see how Fortinet technology can help customers in this uh, tough time. And uh, yeah, thanks for this time. I really enjoyed uh, having such uh, discussion.
and looking forward to one of the series. Well, we'll have to catch up again in a couple of days and see how things have changed. Take care. Thank you, Pete. Thank you so much. Bye.